Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubbardson Forge Tarot Large Outdoor Wall Sconce. This is the 36008, two sizes below it. There's also some beautiful post lights, so check those out too, and, and some hanging lights as well. You'll see those under our uh, outdoor lighting section, okay? So overall height on this from the bottom of the glass to the very top of the fixture is going to be 14 inches, 8.5 inches wide. Projection out from the wall is coming in at 10 inches. Mounting height is going to be 10.6 inches from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of your electrical outlet box. And backplate is 5 inches wide by 5, 6.5 inches tall. So 5 inches wide, 6.5 inches tall. I want to show you more information about that. Really important. So let's dig in. If you're on our site on the page for this, look over on the right-hand side of your screen, midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installations, instructions, PDF. So click on that and open up for me. <coughs> Excuse me. It is going to show you a lot of great information. It's going to show you a full parts list, how the glass goes on. It's also going to show you the backplate setup, how it's going to go over your for injunction box, and um, very, very important stuff there for you to see. Uh, you're going to have to cut a block, a wooden block, if you guys are putting this into clabbered siding or shingle siding, and you'll see pictures of that running around the web. So you will need to do that a little bit bigger than the back plate dimensions I gave you. So it's going to have to be a little bit bigger than the 5 inches wide, a little bit bigger than 6.5 inches high. So you know, I would expect you probably to do a 6 inch wide, uh, 7.5 inches high, or maybe even a little bit bigger than that, and you should be good to go. The other thing is when you're done, completely done with this thing and you have it on your building, take a bead of clear silicone and just seal up the little gap between the fixture and the, um, the building, the block where it meets, you know, where the fixture meets your house, you know, like the, say this is the, the fixture, this is the block right there. You want to just fill that in. Silicone is super cheap. It comes in like these little tubes. You can get it at the hardware store and uh, get clear and it'll, it'll disappear and it'll just keep problems from arising from moisture and rain getting in there. Okay, let's um, talk about glass one quick second. So this is the glass of the, all the smallest version of this. Uh, but the glass on this piece is actually going to be 5.37 inches wide and pretty big, 10, 10 and a quarter inches tall. It'll be open like this one on the bottom so it won't collect bugs. You can easily get your hand up there and take the bulb out and replace it. Super, super good. I'll get into more into glass in just a bit. So let's talk about what you can put into this right now. And that's going to be a medium base socket that's going to be coming with it. And Hubbardson says that you can use up to a 100 watt incandescent bulb in this. Incandescents are those older type light bulbs we all used growing up. This is an A19 size. This is an A19 size LED, which you can also use. And actually, you know, depending on what you really want to get out of this, you can go up bigger in a bulb size because the glass is pretty big. This is an A21. See how big that is? You can find this up to 100 watt equivalent, the A19 LED. I can find this A21 LED out in the marketplace like Amazon or any place online or a hardware store or big box store like Home, Home Depot or Lowe's up to 150 watt equivalent. So you can really blast a lot of light out of this. You can buy these dimmable and you can also, we'll talk about color temperature in two seconds. So it's really up to you what you guys put in. You know, I would probably opt to go for the bigger one just so I can get the max light out of this. You know, there's all great opportunities when you get into LEDs. You can choose your color temperature. So I tend to like the warmth of that warm glow from an incandescent bulb. That's going to be 3000 Kelvin. So when you are out there looking online, it'll tell you right off the bat, 3000 Kelvin is the warm white. If you like the whiter daylight or like doctor's office white light, that's going to be, and some people do like that, it's going to be 4000, 5000 Kelvin. So it's really, like I said, totally up to you guys. If you want to dim this, put it on a dimmer. Just make sure you buy dimmable bulbs and, and you're set to go. Um, if you are in the state of California and you're doing a lead, well actually, uh, if you're doing new construction or renovation to begin with, we don't even need to go into lead yet. So new construction and renovation is probably going to be requiring you guys to do a different socket setup than this guy, okay? So the whole idea with Title 24 compliance in California, it makes it so you can't use an incandescent bulb. And they generally, generally are going to require you guys to use a GU24 socket setup. Two little holes, two little prongs, slips in just like that, and you're good to go with all that. Um, check with your contractor about that before you have to go in this direction. A lot of you guys in California probably won't have to, and, and 
you can use this. That's just the regular incandescent version of this. You'll notice Hubbardson kind of usually offers these things as a fluorescent or, or I'm sorry, an LED or a non-LED version. But just remember, anytime you have these kind of screw-in sockets, you can put in your own LEDs. The other thing I talked about two seconds ago was the lead part of this story. So LEED is um, lead certified building construction is basically you're going after tax credits and that's going to be a house or uh, a commercial building. Okay, same deal. You'll end up using this. So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft... Uh, semi-transparent kind of milky quality it's it's a soft soft glowing piece really really pretty you know they're really obsessed about details at Hubberton Forge and a lot of people don't um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video there you go let's talk about something else uh, same kind of idea um, they only use aircraft grade aluminum to make all of their outdoor lighting and the reason they do that is because Aluminum holds up better than any other material in harsh, extreme weather. When you go out and you're out in the world, look up and you'll see those jet airlines flying up there way above your head. They're all made out of aluminum for a reason because it holds up beautifully, it welds beautifully, it doesn't rust, it's very light, and it's just the best material to use outside. So on top of that, they have developed these outdoor baked epoxy powder coats that can go over this and um, make them pretty much indestructible, and we're going to talk about that right now. So how they do this, you'll notice in the picture next to me, there's a picture of a woman and uh, she's actually shooting uh, powdered finish at the fixture. And they take the fixture, let's say this is the fixture to begin with, okay? They wire it up with a wire here, a wire coming down. They run a small amount of electricity through it to make it positive. And what that does, it makes it attract everything around it. So when she's over there spraying little bits of powdered finish, what it's going to do, it's going to go over the entire fixture. It's going to get into every nook, every cranny, top, bottom, sides, the whole thing. They're going to take that fixture, they're going to put it into an oven. That's going to melt that down and, turn, and make it into a hard epoxy shell. And it makes it you know, incredibly strong. <clears throat> because they do this, and these things have been tested in these wind chambers where they have shot you know, salty uh, seawater at them, basically, because that's what's going to happen on a beach, right? Where a lot of these things are going to end up. They had to really do that to make sure that they're going to hold up for you. And because they do have done that, they offer the best uh, warranty for the entire lighting industry. And you can see that over on the, the left-hand side of your screen. Limited lifetime warranty for residential use. And check it out, and it'll really make you feel better about their products. Cool. Okay. Moving on from there, why don't we talk about our showroom in Vermont. We have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We actually have a What's On Display page on our website. It's over on the red tabs over on the left-hand side of your screen, so you can open up that and check it out. Showroom has also a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's an amazing deal for you. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. If you guys are going to come visit us, do me a favor. Bring a big SUV, <laughs> if you can, if you have one, only because the boxes are set up for shipping. Uh, measure everything you can think of. So measure with a measuring tape, measure your ceilings, measure counters, tables, distances between junction boxes and things like ceilings. Because if you're looking, you want to make sure when you're looking at these things that they're going to be able to be used by you for your needs. Okay? Um, and then um, also bring an iPad. If you guys are doing a project and you have a tablet laying around at home, take pictures with that. Take pictures and, and you can bring that tablet in and we can go through all those pictures together and look and see what you guys are doing and I can help you out on that, okay? So when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont and we're the only dealer with 90 day returns and no restocking fees. No one else does that. Some larger items, generally big things on pallets and custom things are gonna be non-returnable. We'll always tell you that on the page for it so just keep your eyes peeled for that. And then on top of all that, we offer a 
rush program. So in order for you to get all of these different finishes, Hubbardton Forge doesn't stock. It takes generally about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half and it is super, super inexpensive. A lot of people don't even know about it. If you want to know about it, the best thing to do is just drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. You can also call 802-446-2400 during business hours. And so I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time if you guys want to talk to me. And then you can email us, uh, you know, seven days a week at sales at handmadeinvermont.com and we spell out the word Vermont. So I think that kind of wraps things up on this. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. Thank you for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.